Hi, everyone. I want to take a few minutes to introduce you to the learning domain, and this is where we talk about technology and learning. Now, there's so much that we could spend time on in this course, and we have to remember, keep it to a minimum. So let me just go over briefly some of the things that we'll be doing in the learning domain. First and foremost, I hope most of you are aware of the three major bodies of theory related to learning. There's the cognitive body of theory, the behavioral body, and the constructivist body. But let me give you a definition of, of just in general learning. And with your listening guide, go ahead and fill this in. Now, I've made these up, you guys. My definitions you're just going to have to work with, okay? They're not very formal. Learning is acquiring new content knowledge, which is cognitive, skills and behaviors, which is behavioral, or attitudes and interpretations, which is constructivist. Now, let me talk about this as you fill that in. When we talk about technology and learning, some of the things we could do is to look at things like pedagogy, um, the strategies that we use as professors and teachers with pedagogy. So behavioral pedagogy using technology would be things like me using course analytics, looking at the numbers of times you logged in or that you even watched this video and making a judgment that you learned uh, using those types of behavioral approaches using technology. Now, some cognitive approaches, we see this all the time. Those of you who use clickers in your classroom, room or if I gave multiple choice questions online and you responded to those, those types of mnemonic devices and that memory wrote and um, recall uh, memorization, those types of techniques, that's all cognitive. And lastly, constructivists, which we know based on research, online students thrive in constructivist environments, but that's a pedagogical practice of helping students kind of think about their attitudes toward a subject area, their behaviors with that subject area, and then interpreting um, based on their, their kind of constructivism, constructing that knowledge um, themselves. Some things that we would do if we talked about technology um, and learning with the constructivist approach is, is things that you would interact with at a one-to-one -one level with that content. So let me give you some examples. Recording and narrating a PowerPoint where you're discussing a research project or a group case study where the um, five of you or six of you get up online and talk about um, a case study. All of that is a constructivist approach using online technology to present information and talk about learning. So that's part of this domain, and that's some of the stuff we'll do in this domain area. Now, a lot of you, especially those of you who work in the K-12 environment, do a lot with assistive technologies, and those of us in the higher ed world, the same thing. So we're learning as educational leaders. What are assistive technologies? Um, what assistive technologies do students need to be successful in the classroom? And we always have those kind of ethical um, conversations about the calculator, for instance. Um, who is learning? Is the student learning, or is the calculator doing the learning for the student? Student. That's some of the stuff that we'll talk about when we go into assistive technologies. And lastly, in the learning domain, we could spend a lot of time and we will discuss online learning in general, types of demographics, kind of emerging trends in online learning, um, assessment practices in online learning. So that's what you have to look forward to in this domain. I look forward to watching your project submissions and seeing the things you come up with, and I'll see you soon.